Now we have wavefront, plane, and circular wavefront. Plane wavefront is uh, is like using a horizontal ruler, and I dip into the water tank. And plane or straight wave are created. Circular circular wave front is like this. I drop a stone into the middle of the pond, and the ripple it created it looks like circles, a succession of circles. So, wave, we have also have a way to define them. The highest point is crest, the lowest point is trough. And the highest, we can always also call it as valley and also peak. So, the highest point to the highest point, A to B. The distance are in phase. In phase means they have the same position. Now, the top view of the plane wave run and the circular and plane wave run is like this. We also have a 3D view. So you can see A, B, C, D is the same as A, B and C, D. Okay, just ponder for a moment. Now A, B is this A, B. C, D is this C, D. Alright, this is a 3D view. So if you are a climber, now this is a human here and there's a human here. So this climber is at the top and this climber is at the, the lower position. How about circular wavefront? Circular wavefront will look something like this. Okay, have a look. This is a top view and this is a 3D view. So the gray areas are the trough. So PQ is P and Q on the black line. And the trough is the gray line. So let's say two climbers here, two climbers on the same wave front, they are in phase. Right? Climber C and D are in phase. That's how you define wave front. Wave front is the, the, the places of the wave where they are in phase. Okay? Refer to your reference book for proper definition. Okay? Now, the direction of the wave imaginary lines you can also say that it is 90 degree to all the wave fronts okay same goes for plane wave front 90 degree the imaginary line is the line of the direction okay what is amplitude if i have a table and i have a red ruler and i do the vibration up and down and I can see that the ruler will travel to the highest place as well as the lowest place passing through the equilibrium level. The ruler vibrates on the table side. So this distance we call it amplitude. The other one is negative amplitude. Basically the definition is the maximum displacement from the equilibrium level. Okay, The middle level. But most of the time, we only take the positive amplitude. What is period? Now for a wave, uh, time taken for this pendulum to swing from one place to another, let's label it as M and N. So if you travel from M to N, and then back to M, we can call it time taken for the oscillation is one cycle and we call it period. The official name for the time is called period. Period is basically time taken for one complete oscillation. Time taken for one complete oscillation. M and M is one complete oscillation. Time taken for one cycle of oscillation or vibration. Alright, for example, if I perform or I have uh, observed that 20 cycles of M&M &M, and it has taken 52.0 second to achieve that uh, what I need to know is the time taken for one cycle so one cycle takes the time of 52.0 divided by 20 time is on top in the calculation so the answer will give you 2 
if I'm not mistaken. 2.6 second. So period is 2.6 second. If you want to calculate, use the time on top. Okay, it swing from M to N back to M. Now frequency. What is frequency? Imagine I slap myself four times in a second. Slap my own face four times in a second means four slaps in a second. What does that mean? It means that's how frequent I slap myself within a certain period of time. So frequency is the number of oscillation or number of slaps in one second. In a second, I can perform how many steps? For example, drummers, they can hit the drum like one second, six times, maybe. So that's number of oscillations in a simple way to define it. Okay, number of slaps per second. So let's say 20 slaps within five seconds. So the frequency is 20 over 5. Do you notice that if I want frequency, I put the slaps on top, time below. So 4 slaps per second. So let's look at one example of period and frequency calculation. Um, let's look at period first before we look at the example. The period and frequency, what's the difference? Period is T. T is time taken divided by number of oscillation. If you want T period, time is on top. Frequency is number of oscillation, how often you slap yourself and all that, divided by time. Do you notice that they have a relationship of T equals to 1 over F, or F is 1 over T? So the unit for period is a second, and unit for frequency is Hertz, or S negative 1. 